We'd like to sincerely thank our Patreon supporters. Hey, what's going on everyone? I am here with Tom Holt of Holt Nurseries. I know Kenan just filmed everything over here maybe a month ago, but Kagan and I are here. You know Kagan's obsession with plants. And I mean, I have an obsession too. I'm all about like keeping my, my property meticulous. I was blown away when I watched Kenan's video and hopefully we could show this property from a different perspective to make it still enjoyable for you. When Tom and I first met and he he first described what he was trying to do here, I was blown away. I mean, we, we have similar goals. We're going in slightly different directions, but really we want to build a legacy. Uh, uh, we want to, something that our dreams are made of is, is, is what you're building here and, and, and what I'm trying to do. You know, the reptiles was a dream of mine from a very young age and I lost that dream and later in life I found it again and I'm fighting with everything I have to keep that dream. And so we came up here, Tom invited us up, we're going to tour his gardens. Kagan is probably going to steal the camera from me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> half the time because she's going to have plant questions. I already have plant questions and Tom wants to speckle reptiles and maybe some enclosures on this property and hopefully we can do something where we can help each other out. Maybe I can offer some of my problem solving skills. All right, we're over here by one of his many water features throughout his garden and I was talking to Tom about I mean, you guys see the lush, this is almost as lush and full as a rainforest and you can see there's still plants being added. You said just three years that you've been? Yes, I've been working on this three years ago. There was nothing here but the oak trees. Nothing but the oak trees just a couple years ago. And this is what he's already accomplished. But now you're ready to fast track it. Like you, you now see it coming together. You just need to finalize some paths sprinkle some animals, maybe a little bit more fish in the water, and you're gonna to wanna to start doing tours here? Um, yeah. Private I mean, tours? I, to be quite honest, I haven't I haven't thought that far in advance. I, I, want, I do wanna share the garden. Or maybe just on video. I mean, a video tour is just- Yeah, the, I just, I- You wanna justify this- I just feel- By sharing it in some way. I, I do, I do, I feel, I mean, I feel this, this is very humbling. I, I just, you know, I, I it's t it's it's a lot of it. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and I'm I'm trying to take care of all the animals. And we we've had had people come in. You're always welcome. People are always welcome to come. The self guided tours are okay. You know, or be careful when I say. Yeah, but, I, I feel like I've been transported to another country, another place. I mean, aside from the oak trees, I feel like I'm in the rainforest. Let's walk around and see, see what we see different than Kenan did. Here's something Tom didn't plant, but he's gonna benefit from on his property. This is our, our native vine. Are they all muscadine? Or is only a certain variety of this vine considered a muscadine? You know, because, I'm not sure. Because it's growing grapes right here, and very soon they, um, they're delicious as a kid growing up fishing when these turn into bunches of grapes to me it tastes like a wine grape but you could go to the shoreline of the canals where i was fishing and grab the bunches of grapes and they're they're a little tart and it'll remind you of the taste of wine my buddy brandon makes some really good wine so maybe we'll get some for brandon so tom had visited us uh two weeks ago and he had borrowed one of our driveway enclosures for the youngsters and he has this this young water monitor in here and uh, he's doing a water change right now but he's in the cork park and eyeballing us through the the crack of the cork hey buddy a little tongue flicking beautiful here uh, there's one more so, water to fall off. turn on probably tom's favorite tree in the entire property is this massive oak tree What's the span, you think? 250 feet, 200 feet? 
It's big. I mean, there's there's an entire ecosystem living up on that tree. Different types of ferns and plants vining up it, all the Spanish moss. And then look at the number of plants that he is still has plans to put into the ground. It's just just incredible. Okay. So what are these these palm trees here in the corner? This is Bacario Phoenix, the frozen coconut. It is a masculine <laughs> palm tree. Like it is a handsome palm tree. So the thing on this, these trees here, you, you don't see them because they're prone to transplant shock. And in my experience, 20% of them die. So it's a little bit of a gamble. That's why you don't see them in gated communities. They don't want to plant it, it dies. I'm from the Boston area. I wanted to come and have coconuts and you can't have coconuts in Apopka, Florida, but you can have the Beccario Phoenix. Supposedly, you can plant this all the way up to South Carolina, coastal South Carolina. I but no coconuts. No coconuts. You still got to buy your coconuts. Yes. Tom also has a property in Fort Pierce, which uh, is only 30 minutes away from our house. So I think we're going to have to do a, uh, a fishing trip very soon. These beautiful bromeliads blooming this flower that's taller than me it's by seven feet up very cool this area reminds me of more commie gardens well, this is kind of a cool little... so cool such a cool landscape really healthy water plants in the water mosquito minnows thriving in there and you see the dragonflies just hovering above bees pollinating the flowers and a kapok tree as a kid um, now I was born in, in Coral Gables but I, I was in um, Coral Springs until I was eight there is a bug that imitates these thorns and you'll find them down there. I used to love as a kid going around and find these little bugs that look just like these thorns. What's really cool for, for Kagan and I walking the property is everything that we see growing here, this is two hours north of us. So if it can survive here, you already know that it's gonna be able to survive by us in Okeechobee, which is cooler than where, where I've always you know lived. So he has a lot of tropical plants here. I'm really, really surprised. I saw in one of his recent videos where he was just planting, putting the rocks in the ground and, and planting everything here. And uh, everything is doing great. I would love to have this type of lushness in that play area maybe a little bit more space out so we can actually see but some of these big broad leafed uh plants is that a, that a no i need kagan they walked away from me is it a philodendron i always call them elephant ears i call all of those elephant ears and i know i'm wrong if you love plants this is the place for you
Uh, he's telling me a petticoat palm. They're from Cuba. They almost look continuous the way the fronds are. Just layered. Really, really sharp looking. Maybe I'm standing too close for you guys to really see. Very unique looking. This amazing palm that is literally standing on its roots like a mangrove. Super cool. It must live in a forest that floods. And Tom is showing me that he has another similar palm that I used to see on my Costa Rica trips. And that will, he says, stand up on its roots as well. But it's not doing amazing here. I have a lot of plants, Jerry, so I kind of plant them. <laughs> I walk away. And see how they do. See how they do. <laughs> That's how I do it. Tail palm. That is wild. I hope you guys are seeing this. The entire branch is zebra stripe. Reminds me of the fruit stripe gum. Well, I mean, it, it really has a, a more of a red color on the one. This one's a little more, this is the lime flavor. This one, all three uh, branches are all different colors. That is sharp and it's a fishtail. So that's that Bismarckia palm that we have well we have a massive one growing on the back corner of the property it's a shame because it's really tucked away in the back corner and we don't get to enjoy it but it is a huge palm tree so we're we're heading into the the thick of it tom has a passion vine here's a ripe one here oh my gosh i'm gonna need kagan holding the camera so this is the vine growing up and it's dropping passion fruit everywhere. Oh, it is way up in the canopy. I would love one of these vining up one of my oak trees. And if this can do well here, are they supposed to cry out when you open them up? If no one knows, it almost looks like snot and seeds inside there. <laughs> and it's definitely a texture thing. It's amazing, huh? That is amazing. Way more tart along with the sweet than the ones I'm used to. This is delicious. Just this last week, my employees filled the whole five gallon pail. I know, your you hands know. Are, <laughs> are full. I ate like six of them. And they're no good from the supermarket. They're too tart for the super. I think they must pick them green. That is delicious. Is that incredible? That is so good. I wouldn't have expected it to taste like that. We're walking through the cactus room and, and, and Tom just lit up with excitement and it literally said, I own the place and I'm excited to see this. Look at these cactuses flowering. We're walking through the cactus room and I am just in awe of the beautiful flowers that these guys are shooting off. All through here, just different colors, white flowers, just, it's beautiful. So cool. About to walk through an area of Tom's property that is more of a blank slate. And, and you guys know how I like the projects and to see them evolve. Like you guys saw the Okeechobee property from the very first day that I looked at it with the realtor down to when I bought it and started construction and you got to see it evolve. Now, all the property we've walked through so far is not done, but it's still stunning. Now this is an area that he is just now working the land working the elevations of the land he just shot a video today of building the dock is that correct tom yes they built this dock around the perimeter and what are the plans this is you said it's a natural spring in here this is a natural spring and it comes with the duck it comes with the duck and you saw the great blue herring flew away <laughs> Why is there that little clear spot out in the middle? Is that, uh, you think there's a slow I mean, water pouring out in that middle? And that's what's, where the duck was. is that where the duck was? Oh. Kagan says that's where the duck was. Well, she ruined that. <laughs> so you're gonna clean the duckweed out as part of your plan. And then you're gonna plant all the, the beautiful a lilies. I, I mean, I wanna keep it kind of clean, but, but a little bit, maybe, you know, if you go to the Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary, it's a really cool place. So maybe a little bit of um, alligator flag, the thalia, a little bit of Sagittaria, but just a touch. Oh, look at the catfish. Oh, wow. That's a channel cat or the marbling makes me think it's a bullhead. 
No, no, we, we, we put a channel cat in here. Oh, okay. But look how, look how clean the water is. Yeah, it is. Like you said, the whole thing is crystal clear. You know, it's not marbling. It's the duckweed that is making me feel like he's marbled. So this is gonna be a large liner pond. I think maybe it's gonna be four or five feet deep here. Are you getting ideas? <laughs> or because this is fish, this is me. So this right here would be the walkway. I'm gonna smooth this out. I'm gonna plant a row of palm trees on here to give you some blockage from the greenhouse. This would all be lilies. It's gonna be this deep. So I'll put all my tropical lilies here. Once upon a time, these were all palms. I don't want all these palms. I have two, I have enough palms. This, I think I want to have walking trails. All right, Kagan and I just walked to the end of this Massive seemingly hotel. endless row of, in, of uh, greenhouses. And we got to where I know, seems like this is fruit trees and, and, and stuff. I saw figs, see what looks like mulberry. And I'm guessing that this is that dragon fruit. We're going to try and talk him out of one or two of those dragon fruit plants. Uh, I wouldn't mind having another mulberry on the property. I don't know. He said there's a bunch of different fruit trees on this end. And I know uh, Kagan said a great um, video in the future. She wants to get some different plants in her Hall Mahara gecko. Did I say that correctly? Hall Mahara, yep. Gecko enclosure. Yep. And and set it up with all live plants. Mm -hmm. So we'll probably have to share with him like the sun exposure and and how it is right now, yep. and then get some ideal plants and then yep. set that up with Tom. That would be really cool. That would be cool. So Tom mentioned to us, he's looking and maybe we can help him out. He is looking for somebody who wants to help him on the property. You know, he has a, a couple reptiles on the property he obviously has the fish we are going to shoot a fish video while we're here huh birds. oh and birds so he has quite a decent collection of animals and then obviously you see all the plants he is looking for somebody that is motivated and willing to help him out that he needs somebody that wants to jump in there and clean fish filters and clean reptile enclosures and handle things and keep them tame and work with them mm -hmm. so the animals can be part of some of these exhibits and stuff like that. I might even come up here one or two days a week and start helping him with some of the enclosures and and we'll get into that at a later date. But he, we have talked about it. So there, there may be something there where we help him build some enclosures here. So that would be very cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I just, I can't get over the vastness. And, and it's been hard to film with Kagan because she's walking down the row and she's like, Err! she's down this row and looking at stuff. She is just in awe of the vastness of everything. And, uh, and, and so am I. And I can't wait to see what he does on this property. Please check out his channel. It's Holt Nurseries. Um, he's doing something really cool here. All right, guys, until next time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you soon.